nation, a legal right, and it's called the embassy. The church is the embassy in the earth. Real Boys International Ministries, we are the embassy in Joliet. Amen. We keep our culture. See, that's about the embassy. You don't have to assume the identity of that nation. Huh? You don't have to, you're no longer obligated to the laws that's in that nation. Yes, yes, yes. Call it diplomatic what? Immunity. <laughs> we have immunity. We have diplomatic immunity. Mm -hmm. So when the enemy tries to say something that's in this society or in this world or in this, we don't have to, we can go to, run to the embassy. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? We are a kingdom embassy. We're delegates. We're ambassadors. We're sent on behalf of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We need to stand flat for this sometimes and tell the enemy, you know what? I am an ambassador. Yes, that's right. Amen. This is not my nature. Amen. I don't have to bend about to this any longer. Amen. I've been sent from God. The Bible plainly says that he that is of the earth is earthly. But he that is above, from above is what? Above. It's above all. Kingdom embassy, above all. We need to think that way. I'm getting ready to close. We're kingdom embassy. We don't think like that nation think. Our wishes is to make sure we represent the one who sent us. Because that's apostolic or apostolos. We don't have an opinion. We're not here trying to prostitute or promulgate anything other than what he has already made right or the holy writ. The laws of the land is superior to my opinions. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. 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 <clears throat> I would say folks is like happy. <laughs> and then the rest is like, uh oh. Because we don't know what we exist for. This ministry. So much more than just the church. So much more than just speaking and, and preaching and, and, and all that stuff. Every time, oh boy, we just got to get in our spirit that God is, we're an asset to, to this region. We're an asset to our family. We're not a liability. Our liability only comes in because we want to do it our way. That's when we become a liability. We're not a liability. We're an asset. Our family should be so happy to know that we got somebody in this family saved for real. Right. They should be able to say for real. Should be something that's coming out of your life that they can recognize tangible. They try to invite you and include you in certain things. You stand out. Not because you got to be holy with it and arrogant with it and point out their sin. That's just no longer conducive for the life that I've become a part of now. That's an infringement on my ambassadorial rights. <laughs> because I'm not of this world. Not of this world. So we're not a nursery. We're not an old folks' home. We're not a reformatory. We're not a Pentecostal playground. We're not just here of uh, self glorification. Mm -hmm. We're not just for our own needs and wants. Mm -hmm. We exist because the earth needs our voice. Yes. It needs what we, God has put on the inside of us. The earth, this region, this city, this community, this society needs to know that we're saved for real. Mm -hmm. And we ain't playing games. We ain't, come, we ain't coming to take over because that's the that's some other people that want to be spiritual giants. We're not here to take over nothing. We're just here to take get, get what God has given us. Our lot and the principle, the principle that God has given us and the platform God has given us and, and the, you know, the space and the gates that God has given us. That's what we want. We want our portion. We're not here to try to say, get out of the way because y'all not big like us. Y'all don't have the stuff we have. It ain't even about that stuff. We're like David said, is there not a cause? We're in the valley. I said, is there not a cause? Yes, there is a cause. Yeah. Why? Because I can see darkness. Yeah. Yeah. I can see bondage. Not only in our church, but I can see it where I go. Yeah. 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 Is there not a cause? Yes. There is a cause. You were saved for something. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't figured it out. We know we've been saved from, but you've been saved for. Yeah. The for is greater than the from. <laughs> When God is saying you for, it's more important than where you came from. It ain't got nothing to do with it. If you ever get a glimpse of what he's saying you for, the from will no longer have any control over your life. 
trust him. The enemy can do what he wants to. He can wag his tongue. He can send his imps. He can even visit you at night like he's done me, wake me up and want to harass me at night. But I know I've been saved for. I have a purpose. I have a reason for my existence. Seriously. If you find a form, you'll leave it from. Trust me. If you find out what God saved you for, You'll never be disobedient to the heavenly vision. Amen. Never. But you got a glimpse now. And all of y'all here had a glimpse. Yes. All of y'all. Yes. Every last one of y'all moved the whole row. All of y'all had a glimpse. God has prophesied and gave y'all dreams. Who gave you the right to take an, an eternal seed, an incorruptible seed, a dream, a prophetic word, and live any kind of way? Who gives you the right? I can tell you, God, God Himself. The God Himself, pride, Leviathan. I hope, I know. We coming at Him. We come. He knows it. We come. Oh yeah, we come. Then you get rid of it, it's going to get rid of you. Yeah. Wow. Ain't going to be no middle ground. Mm -hmm. If you're going to come out of agreement with it, or it's going to tear you up, and it's going to trust it. The, the spiritual realm. Yeah. I'm going to leave it all so I can close. I'll be nice, I'm going to pay. The spiritual realm is nothing to play with. Mm -hmm. And you think that your lifestyle don't have a direct correlation with what's going to happen in the spirit realm? Yeah. You've lost your mind. Yeah. It's, it's bigger than your generation. It's, he looking, the enemy looking to just sow seeds of discord for generations. Your dysfunction is not in a moment. Your, your dysfunction right now is the fruit of a dysfunctional past from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Trust me. My dad used to always say, why do you always say, I used to my dad about the hang of the Moffat's hand. I used to always grill him and tell him about it. He said, why do you always say, yeah, like you don't like being a Moffat? I said, no, I want to know why I act. Like I, did. Yeah. I found out why. And then from that point on, I was aggressive. That's the enemy to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it may upset you or make you feel uncomfortable, but I'm coming for it. Because I see some things that I didn't like. Why? Because I hate evil and love righteousness. Some people don't care about the, the, the dichotomy, but God is looking for people that's going to hate evil. And when you do, the Bible said in Hebrews 1, I'm close. I know I have to, but in Hebrews 1, he said, I anoint you above your fellows. Yes. Am I right? Yes. He said, when you hate evil and love righteous, promotion comes. Yeah. Trust me, some of the reasons why we're still stuck mm -hmm. in the same sphere we've been in for years is because we don't hate the thing that's been trying to get us and kill us. Mm -hmm. When you turn against it, like David said, a perfect hatred. Mm -hmm. He said, I cast it out of dust in the streets. You got to get a perfect hatred. And I'm talking about the hatred that had you getting up early. The hatred that had you want to fast. Yeah. A, a hatred that says, I'm not going to turn the TV on. That's the perfect hatred. I'm not going to go to this place. I'm not going to let the words come out of my mouth. Yeah. That's the perfect hatred. Yeah. Father, we bless you. We thank you. We thank you for what you're doing in this house. Our future is prophetic. There's no future without us understanding the present, the now. Father, and I thank you for these words that are teaching us and preparing us to make every day count. For your word says sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. Take no thought for tomorrow. Father, I pray that we stop necessary. We need to have an expectation of the future, but let us learn how to manage our now, our present. Because if we mishandle it, there is no future. At least not the one you prescribe for us. Father, I want to fulfill everything that I know that you have called us to. And I'm willing to take whatever knock, cost, it to take to get it done, Father. <laughs> I, want it to, I want it your way, not my way. We just bless you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.